And at this hour, the man charged in that deadly shooting at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, is in court. Classes are canceled today there after that doctoral student opened fire on campus yesterday, killing one person. He's been charged with first-degree murder, and we're learning that the victim, the person he killed, was the suspect's academic advisor. NBC's Dana Griffin is following this one for us. Dana, what more can you tell us about the faculty member who was killed? Yeah, Kate, he has been identified as associate professor Dr. Zhe Zhe Jun. We are told that he was listed as the suspect's advisor in a now since deleted UNC profile. We are told that they had some sort of working relationship, but the motive behind the shooting still remains a mystery. We know that 34-year-old Tai Li Chi, who is the suspect in the shooting, is now charged with first-degree murder and also for possession of a weapon on educational property, both felonies. He's currently being held at the Orange County Jail without bail, as we're seeing some images of him appearing in court. We know that the police chief... Uh, UNC police chief is expected to hold a press conference around 3.30 this afternoon, so we hope to learn new details of the shooting. Zinclay? And I'm sure, Dana, students can't wait to learn more, right? Because this was such a terrifying ordeal for them on campus. Just going back to school, we saw a video of some kids yeah. literally jumping out of the window attempting to escape active gunfire. How are students reacting today? Well, they're obviously very terrified, concerned. When something like this happens, it's it's traumatic. So we've heard from students who are now uneasy about returning to campus. Uh, we've seen images like the ones you're seeing now, kids jumping out of a, a window, because during the moment, you don't know if that shooter is coming to your classroom or if it was just a targeted attack. Here are what some other students are saying about that experience. We all just stayed hiding in the stalls, squatting on the toilets, just scared. We didn't know what was happening. Uh, this is a situation that we really shouldn't even have to be worrying about. You know, we're in class and lecture, and we have to be concerned about gunmen coming into our classrooms and, you know, hurting people when we're just here to learn, like anybody should be able to. So I'm very angry about this, and something needs to be done. And Zinclay, you mentioned students wanting answers. UNC has actually set up a hotline so that students and parents can call in if they have any questions about this and hopefully get the services they need if they need someone to talk to. Back I'm to you. Sure, I'm sure many do. Dana Griffin, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.